my name is Seth Kweku Bani and today I'm going to show you how to design this. Alright guys, so go with me into Photoshop and then um, let's create a new document. Now I'm going to keep here 2000 pixels, I'm going to keep here 2000 pixels as well and then I'm going to keep here 100 also keep here RGB color 8 bit and then um, that's it I'm going to call it church flyer and then I'll click on create now I'm also going to go to the view menu and then go to new guide layout and then I'll just keep everything like this click here make sure you click here too as well set here to 2 set here to 2 and then click on ok so as usual you know i always start with my background so i'll start with a, a pattern this one drag it in there and then let's keep this on way yeah and then let's resize it i want to resize it until it you know fits to the whole screen all right so we are done with the pattern i also like to bring in a solid color I like to set it to pure black and then let me set the opacity to around 78 percent experiment with the one that works best for you also i would like to bring in my saxophone to I get in there let's resize it uh, in fact let's flip it horizontal let's drag here this way drag here in there And then let's go back to this side and then click on our brush click over here make sure the color over here is color black we are using a soft round brush and then the opacity in the flow is 100 and then click somewhere here sweet that's great now click on the saxophone go here to your adjustments i want you to pick vibrant vibrant now i want us to set it to zero the saturation let's reduce it a little bit to around minus 15 okay so this way it desaturates the saxophone a little bit uh, it looks too vibrant and that's not good click it also want to make sure it is clipped only to the saxophone now let's go back to our adjustments again and then let's pick levels this time also clip it as well and then i want us to set this particular value here to 43 sweet also the value here let's set it to 0 0.78 that is great and then over here let's set it to 2 4 6 this is awesome so this is how it was this is how it is now now it looks it looks blend blended in the background also nicely i like it this way um but let's click on the mask here also make sure your brush is selected and then around here the tip over here i like it to hit it and then also hit reduce the brush hit this side you know all right let's put everything in a folder and then let's call it bg so we're done with the background now let's start with our text type somewhere here and then let's pick absolute and then paste in there now open it and then let's go for this particular font i haven't used before shelvonia okay let's set here to zero that's a tracking to zero and then the font size let's increase it so that we can see it quite well let's set it to four two three enter to read let's bring it somewhere here i think this is great i think this is great let's click on it to see um let's see everything is well okay let's set here to 120 the vertical scale and that's it and then let's duplicate it and then bring it down as well let's set it up a little bit more quite closer i love this okay so now let's also set the font size of this to three nine five and then let's come and then let's pick 
worship and then let's paste worship there okay let's also make sure worship is quite closer as usual the tracking to zero still the vertical scale to 120 and then let's leave it like this like this uh let's see how we can do it close this one let's move it up a little bit up a little bit i think this is good okay so now control t and then let's pull in our lines okay bring this one here as well sweet 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 all right so let's put this in a folder and then let's call it absolute worship now let's click over here on the folder here and then let's start with our color gradient over here okay so double click here and set it to seven four four e one one click on okay and then over here double click it set it to f6 e e b5 click on ok double click here set it to b9 a65 e nice double click here and then let's set it to f 3 d 4 6 f and then double click here and then let's set it to and then double click here let's set it to 7 4 4 e 1 1 click on ok and then ok also you would like to drag it this way until you get something like this over here once that is done I want you to come over here set here to normal and then set the opacity here to 100 and then set the angle here to 51 also you want here to be linear as well so the angle here should be um, minus 51 or 51 here and then the scale should be 26 the second thing I want us to do is let's go to bevel and emboss and then let's set here to bevel oh that's inner bevel set here to smooth set the distance to the depth sorry to one and then set here to up also set here to 166 let's see how it looks like great set here to 8 and then let's set the angle to 90 and then the altitude to 30 and then that is it now let's come to drop shadow click on drop shadow okay let's click over here tap on it i want you to set here to multiply set the opacity to 94 over here the angle here to 90 and then here to 16 here to 33 and then here to 57 and then that is it that is pretty much it click on ok so now we are done with our absolute worship it looks cool we are done with it let's start with our logo as well so you want to click here and then go and pick kingdom chapel and then paste it there now open your character and then go and look for Montserrat sweet now I want us to set it to regular over here and then the font size let's use 24 okay let's zoom in let's zoom in click over here change the font color to color white and then let's see um, the tracking over here let's set it to 50 also let's set here to 100 
that's the vertical skill and then that is pretty much it now duplicate it and bring it down I want you to pick international and then paste it there now for international we are using 24 over here 0.7 okay and then we are setting the tracking here to 110 and also we want here to be extra bold and then we click over here and set the font color to color white as well and that is it now let's bring it quite closer to it as well awesome then now we can go and pick our logo and drag our logo icon in there resize it just resize it to a comfortable size and drag it up there okay you also want to type here present drag it somewhere here now open it we are still using Montserrat we are using regular for it and then the size let's use 16 for it and then the tracking let's set it to 2000 awesome and then click here as well let's make sure it is middle aligned or center aligned okay now let's drag these three up as well okay let's drag present up a little bit as well drag it somewhere So I think this is quite great. Let's bring present here a little bit more. So we are done with it. Let's go. Let's see how it looks like. And this is how it looks like. I think this is pretty much good. Let's put it in a folder. Let's call it logo. Now also I want us to uh, type and give some date over here as well. So let's pick 17 and then open it. Let's set here to zero. And then let's set the style here to black let's set the font size to 74 awesome and that is it now let's duplicate it you also want sorry click on it you also want this one to be off okay it doesn't really matter but uh, it's very important to th quite closer to it now with the th let's use semi um where is it semi bold okay let's set the size over here to 50 and then let's set the tracking to zero and then that is it let's pull it quite closer to it now duplicate it bring it down let's type ok to back here and then let's drag it somewhere there awesome now i want us to still use montserrat for this we are using semi bold the font size let's use 30 for it and then let's see how we can position it well now pick your rectangular tool and then just draw a rectangle around it. Drag the rectangle down. Double click the rectangle and set it to color white. Now click over here, click here, click here, select all of them and then let's choose color black. Okay, we want it to real black. Alright great let's zoom in and do all the necessary adjustments okay we want to put everything in the folder let's call it date 
and then let's drag it click on your move to click on your move to and then move it somewhere here sweet let's see um, open it and then let's drag this side down a little bit and then you know <laughs> okay so this is great now duplicate it hold shift and then drag it this way all right select both and then let's see you want it to fall in the middle of it okay now open let's name this one time let's open it and then let's type this one four let's type this one pm and bring it quite closer to it now over here let's type on the dot Ctrl T and then resize it okay let's drag it this way a little bit and that is it ladies and gentlemen that is our time now we also want to bring some few details down here and so let's pick our theme type here theme go here pick change it to color white make sure it is middle aligned now open your character we are still using Mont Surat and then we are using medium here we'll set here to 22 and then let's set the track into 1000 and then also make sure this is italics and that is it now let's type over here and then let's pick the anointed cherub okay now let's just open it you're going to use back to black demo make sure this is off okay let's set here to 41 and then let's set the track into zero click here let's choose this particular color c d b six six one okay now let's make sure it is middle aligned and it's nice put it somewhere here i feel like our theme is not really aligned well let's make sure it's aligned great so next thing is a few details down here let's pick the church auditorium and paste it there set the tracking to zero for now okay now i want us to go here still you're using montserrat but let's go here let's set it to extra bold great and then let's set here to 41 awesome let's set the tracking to zero over here the color to color white make sure everything is i um you know caps over here and as usual control t and then make sure it is aligned nicely drag it up a little bit duplicate it and bring it down and then let's pick this the church let's paste it there i would like to make this one middle aligned so that you know i won't be struggling like that pull it somewhere here great okay so let's open our character and then let's set it to um let's say 20 over here the size to 20 over here great and then let's set the tracking over here to 40 awesome but then let's set a style over here to medium great let's push it up also a little bit more okay now duplicate it and 
bring it down and then let's pick this and then paste it there great 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 now let's use a monster right let's go here let's set it to extra light to width and then we are using 20 over here um we are using uh 40 over here let's use 26 over here as well and then i think that is all now zoom in i want to show you something you want the distance over here to be the exact distance over here or should appear the same to the eyes very important okay so bring our lines now let's check whether it's also middle aligned this way is middle aligned we'll keep it that way and then we put everything in the folder let's call it details sweet I think we are almost done let's give it a gradient map click over here i want you to click over here let's set it to zero 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 nice let's click somewhere yeah and then let's um, give it five four three three one eight click on okay let's double click here Let's set it to C08 D 4E. Click on OK. And click on OK. Now I want you to go here to the blending modes and set it to soft light. Awesome. This looks great already. And then I think we are missing just um, a few details over here. Uh, let's just make it more interesting let's give it uh, a new layer and then pick your brush click over here and then let's give it this particular code e 5d 4 7 a okay click on okay make sure caps lock is off increase the size a little bit and then also go here make sure it's a soft round brush opacity and flow is 100 and click here nice now i want you to click here and then let's set the blending mode to linear dodge add click on it makes it glue let's reduce the size a little bit in there like that awesome 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 let's um, give it some lens flare let's go and pick this lens flare and drag it in there and then resize it and then place it somewhere here now let's go over here and set it to screen so the lens flare is in there as well let's see it's in there as well give it a mask and let's polish the lens flare a little bit I want to clean the edges over here if it's not cleaning definitely need to watch my videos on masking go to my playlist look for the shots click on it and then search for the mask and how i mask and you'll be able to do it okay so just clean it like that clean it like that so we are done with the masking and then the lens flare let's give it one more detail and then we are out of here um, let's click on our text to click over here and pick this detail and then let's paste it there now open the character and then we are still using Montserrat as usual don't use too much fonts uh, maximum three fonts and so that's what I'm doing nowadays I'm using maximum three fonts I think it's a, it's a it's a good thing you guys should also try it out um let's set it to regular as a graphic designer i need to get some few fonts that you would like and then just repeat it you can never change the winning strategy right okay let's set it to 22 um and then let's set it to thousand okay let's set here make sure everything is caps click over here let's choose e9 c 9 f click on ok ctrl t and then right click it and then rotate clockwise enter now you want to move it somewhere here ctrl h to bring your lines and then 
make sure it's in the middle over there send it quite closer to the edge then let's see um ladies and gentlemen this is how you create something like this um, if you love this video please hit the bell icon and subscribe to my channel as well and then send me your comments let me know your thoughts i love you all guys see you in the next tutorial peace